Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It is Julie here with Tip Ranks and your pre-market morning update, where we are covering everything you need to know before the market opens. I am here Monday through Friday with videos out before the opening bell. So if you aren't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn those notifications on so that you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Today, we are taking a look at exciting stock market news, this morning's biggest gainers and losers, plus notable earnings reports. So here we go, starting off with stock market news. U.S. stock futures are a bit mixed at the moment, with the Dow futures down about 0.15%, S&P 500 futures up about 0.1%, and NASDAQ futures up 0.73%. Stocks in Turkey are tumbling after the removal of the country's central bank governor after just four months. Trading has been halted twice on their main stock exchange already this morning. In vaccine news, a U.S. clinical trial has shown AstraZeneca's vaccine to be more effective than expected, with a 79% efficacy rate of preventing infection and a 100% efficacy rate of preventing serious death or disease. The trial results may pave the way for U.S. regulatory approval of the AstraZeneca vaccine. TV streaming company Roku has announced the acquisition of the This Old House business which will support its growing advertising-supported Video On Demand, or AVOD, service. The acquisition includes a 1,500-plus episode library of This Old House, a production studio, two ongoing series and related digital assets, as well as global distribution rights. The Roku stock comes in as a moderate buy with an average upside potential of about 38% and did just pick up a new buy rating from Needham today with a 58% potential upside. We also have news from Innova, who is a financial technology company which has agreed to buy Chicago-based Pangea Universal Holdings which is a platform offering mobile international money transfer services. Innova CEO David Fisher said that this will bring market-leading capabilities around high-volume transactions, marketing, and mobile customer experience, and, most importantly, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Innova International does come in as a moderate buy with an upside potential of about 5%. In a $29 billion deal, we have Canadian Pacific, who has agreed to snap up Kansas City Southern, a transportation holding company, in the stock and cash deal. The combined company will be named Canadian Pacific Kansas City, and through the combination of two railroads, the first rail network connecting the US, Mexico, and Canada will be formed. The CP stock is currently down about 3% in the pre-market, whereas Kansas City Southern under KSU is up nearly 20%. Both companies come in as a moderate buy, with Canadian Pacific having an average upside potential of just shy of 6%, but they did have a buy target reiterated today with nearly a 24% potential upside and Kansas City Southern having an average upside potential just over 7%, but also having a buy target reiterated today with a 22% potential upside. Online dating company Match is looking to make things a little bit safer for their users. As the parent company of popular dating apps such as Tinder, Pears, OkCupid, Hinge, and Plenty of Fish announced that they are going to acquire Garbo. Now, Garbo is a nonprofit platform that helps users run background checks on individuals. In a press release, Match Group confirmed that Tinder users will have access to Garbo to run background checks on their potential dates by the end of this year, and the company is planning to roll out this feature on its other dating apps as well. Match Group comes in as a moderate buy with an average upside of about 7%. We also have U.S. private equity firm Blackstone Group who has made a takeover offer to acquire the struggling Australia-based casino operator Crown Resorts Limited. They've offered an indicative price of about $11.85 Australian dollars cash per share. Blackstone's offer price reflects a 19% premium to the casino operator's average stock price since its first half 2020 results were reported on February 18th. Notably, Blackstone already owns a nearly 10% stake in Crown, which it acquired through Melco Resorts and Entertainment Limited in April of 2020. 
Blackstone comes in as a moderate buy and actually has a slight downside potential there. The most recent buy rating comes from six days ago with a 24% potential upside, but one month prior to that we have a hold rating with a $61 price target. Now moving over to this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Starting off with support.com. Under the ticker SPRT, they're currently up about 167% in the pre-market so far. This is following their announcement of a merger with Bitcoin miner Greenage Generation Holdings. Also gaining this morning is Seneca Biopharma under SNCA, who's currently up over 33%, and Acer Therapeutics under ACER, currently up 22.5%. For our biggest losers this morning, we have RLX Technology under RLX, who is currently down about 30%, Takang Art Co., it's under TKAT, they're currently down about 11.8%, but this is following about a 400% gain last week. And Turkcell Illitasim under TKC, which is currently down over 13% in the pre-market. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. And earnings are actually pretty quiet today. Tomorrow we have a couple more interesting companies with Adobe, At Home Group, and GameStop. Today, we heard from Embraer, who posted a smaller than feared quarterly loss. The Brazilian aerospace conglomerate reported a loss of seven cents per share in the fourth quarter, compared to the 32 cent loss per share estimated by analysts. Their total revenue came in at $1.84 billion, topping analyst expectations of about $1.66 billion, but it did decline over 11% year over year. The Embraer stock does come in as a moderate sell with about a 43% potential downside. So that is Monday's pre-market morning update, bringing you up to speed with everything you need to know before the market opens. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget that I am here Monday through Friday with videos out before the opening bell. So we will see you back here next time. Thank you so much for watching.